Hey guys, Jacob Barnhill here with the Barnhill team at eXp Realty. Today we're going to be talking about a very special topic, one that I really, really love. Uh, it's going to be about iBuyers and the We Buy House signs that you guys see all over town. You see these corrugated plastic signs and maybe you're getting postcards in the mail that says, we'll, we buy houses, we'll buy your house, right? What is all this stuff and what's going on? Is it, is it actually real? Is it legit? Um, these questions are questions that we see a lot in the consumer's minds. And I have some very, very cool answers and options for you guys that we can review and what these guys are all about and a couple options that we provide with our team. Because this is how my wife and I got started in real estate. We used to be the We Buy House guys while I was still in the military and we were trying to figure out this business and this is how we started. Uh, we were putting those corrugated plastic signs in the, in the ground about six, seven years ago when we were in Tacoma, Washington. I was still stationed up there at uh, Fort, Fort Lewis McCord. And we were trying to figure this whole business out and that's how we started. And to this day, we still have a lot of uh, investment deals that we're a part of and we help people with in analyzing numbers and looking at options for people. So that's how we started. And lo and behold, you look at us today, we're actually licensed realtors uh, with eXp Realty. And now we have this knowledge of affording people a lots of different options. And what we really like most about that is we like to call ourselves the Swiss army knife of real estate for single family homes. And, uh, and this could be for condos, townhomes, you know, this is uh, single family homes, uh, freestanding homes. Um, we really tend to, to do a lot in that space. And there's a lot of different options just from I'll buy your house cash or we'll list it on the market even. But I want to share with you guys a really cool uh, way that we can provide options to you if it's a right fit. Typically, you're not going to be selling to a cash buyer unless it makes sense. I'm sure a lot of people get that that's probably somebody who's really motivated where that would make sense or either a motivated person or a, uh, a house that needs a lot of repairs because obviously it does have to make sense for an investor or investor type. And we've bought homes this way. As licensed realtors though, I have to tell you, we have to make sure that there's full disclosure that you guys know that we're licensed, right? I've had people ask us before, so are you guys investors or are you realtors? I'm, I'm not sure. And it's like, well, actually we're both. We provide a lot of options, but it really depends on the person's needs. And that's what we really have to focus on as licensed realtors to maintain our license and make sure there's full disclosure, which is an added benefit for you guys because you actually know you have a fiduciary, somebody who's got your back to review these options to see if they actually make sense. Now, what if somebody wanted to look at their options and they did have some stuff that maybe didn't need a lot of work and they really weren't motivated? Well, yes, there could be some options where you may want to look at something other than just a traditional listing. For example, there are programs out there right now that will lend to you. And even sometimes when you're partnered with contractors uh, like us that may be able to help you improve the home and help you guys make the most amount of money. And that's really where we start with clients or customers is we want to look at what are the needs of this person? What is it that you're telling us that you want to do? And we start there and we look at the solutions that we have. Now, there's dozens of ways. Even on top of that, there's more of ways that we can get creative and look at what is, what is it that you, that you, what can you do? And what is it that you actually want to do? Some people. It's not worth, actually what I find with most people is they're not interested in making the most amount of money. And I know that sounds weird if it's going to take a lot of work. Most people are not like, well, I don't know if I want to hire a real estate agent and we're going to have to manage contractors and, and do all this work to the house. I really just want to make the most amount of money with what we have. Right. And then we can talk about that as a solution. One of the main ways that we'll look at a solution for people that are interested in a cash offer for their home is I like to get an idea of the goals and figure out where, where you guys want to end up, what we're using this money for and how we can help you get there. Right. And I can provide two uh, net sheets to you based on the market and how long we think it will take with realtor fees 
and I show you a net uh, for that solution. Then side by side, a lot of times I find I can get, depending on the situation, I can get within $20,000 and we can have it sold in two weeks. And I would show you that net sheet and I'd say, look, there's no realtor commissions, right? And you uh, wouldn't have to do any work to the home. And this is a solution that you guys could look at. So how do we get paid if we're going to be doing a solution like this for you guys? That's a really good question. Uh, we'll get paid a lot of times if we're working with the investor and they would pay our commission, right? There's a thousand ways to spend uh, this so that we're getting you guys what you want. And that's why I love being a realtor and being able to provide options with people because we can start where you're at. And I'm not just pigeonholed into, well, I'm an investor and I have to make profit on this only. And I'm a one trick pony uh, per se, right? Um, I can be the realtor. I can be a creative finance person. We could look at different ways, different options for you guys to figure out a solution. And we could look at the cash offer. We put these options side by side. I've been in front of sellers before and we're providing five different options with different timelines, different nets, different amount, different amount of work. Uh, and depending on what you guys want to do, uh, we can look at these options and see if any of them are a fit for you guys. And that's why I love being a licensed realtor that is, uh, I kind of am privy to this knowledge and I practiced this personally uh, and helped people. Uh, and it, that's really what it's all about, right? There's a lot of real estate agents out there that know of these things. They're actually in our uh, training when we go to get licensed, but they're just a page or a few pages. And I noticed when I went to go get my license, they really didn't dive deep on those. And it's really sort of a specialty that uh, our team has in providing options for people. Uh, so I really love it because... Uh, for example, we just had a seller who came to us and uh, he didn't want to make anything on it. He was just done with the property. It did need a little bit of work. There were tenants in place and we had all the stuff that we kind of had to un untie and untangle and figure out what was going to be the best thing and communicate with everybody. Well, he didn't want to make anything. He just wanted it gone as soon as, as, soon as possible. In just a week, we ended up getting uh, over 30 offers. We got 32 offers and we put uh, a lot more money. I can't disclose just yet, just for, uh, uh, client privacy information stuff, but we made him a lot more money and we, uh, now have a very big fan and we ended up doing the traditional listing route. Now on that point, that's actually a really good point. A lot of people think that you can't list a home, um, and that needs a lot of work. I know it may sound crazy, but some of you out there may think that if my home's not in HGTV perfect mint condition, then it's not something that maybe I want to put out there and maybe you feel a little embarrassed about it and that's okay. And uh, we see all kinds of homes. And then sometimes people just think that's not what the, the MLS are going through an agent's for. Um, when we have a specialty like our team has, and we know the types of buyers, we're able to go for these buyers in multiple different avenues. We have a database uh, that has a little bit over 400 cash buyers in our marketplace right here that are looking for homes for all kinds of reasons. Um, we ended up selling this home that needed work really close to market value, really close to market value um, because that certain buyer was willing to pay that. And we created a lot of competition around the home, which is what we really specialize in. So on that note as well, um, if you look at the, the, uh, an agent that you may hire and maybe they don't have some of these solutions. Um, the, the real benefit I think that our team has in being able to look at these things is when my wife and I, Aaron, we first started, we did this stuff for ourselves. Okay. We looked at when we rehabbed a home, what's the best way to sell and create that competition and, and collect the most profit on a transaction on the deal. And these are systems that we've been putting in place for, for years now and uh, what, what, what are different creative ways that we can get in a deal, get out of a deal, best ways to sell it, fix it up. And we started doing this for ourselves, which I think is really, really powerful for you guys to understand when we come out and we start giving you guys recommendations on vendors and contractors and different things that we could do to fix up the home. These are recommendations based on systems that we've put in place for ourselves. And that's really powerful. This isn't something that I know 
these investor buyers would buy this, but have never really done it. Um, this is stuff that we know works. We know works in this market, and it is going to provide the uh, uh, a true solution, and it's going to be high impact. When we give you guys recommendations on things to fix up, we'll run it through filters like, is it going to make us the most amount of money, right? Is this the highest and best use of the property? We want to look at some of these things with you and really not tell you what to do or what you know, have you fix up things that we tell you to do. It's really more of helping you what not to do. That way we know we're going to get high impact and not have to spend certain costs. We don't over improve the the property. We are looking at direct comparable sales in what's selling around you and things like that. So um, on top of all that, a real big bonus that we have at EXP is we have an iBuyer program. And there's lots of programs that are out there, such as OfferPad, Open Door, um, Zillow even has the Z Buyer uh, stuff. We can compare all of these buyers. Plus, we have multiple buyers through EXP's iBuyer platform, uh, and that's Express Offers. So these, these other big companies, the three that I just men- mentioned, other than Express Offers, are not in South Carolina yet as of this video, last I checked. And they, uh, so it's hard to create that competition. Well, they're, they're kind of the one trick pony where they're the investor and they're, they're the single buyer. The cool thing about Express Offers is they, they have lots of different buyers. Plus we have the 400 buyers that we have, plus clients that are just looking to pick up the occasional investment property. So we have a real big opportunity for people that want to look at their options just to see what things would look like, see if it's the best fit, see how it all comes together, and we can tailor a plan for you in that regard in really looking at some really cool solutions. So I wanted to share that with you guys so that you guys could see that we have this knowledge. If you or anyone you know is interested in looking at this, maybe you have a friend, a family member, or someone from work, maybe this is you and you find yourself in this situation. I, I know there's a lot of things going on in the marketplace with deferred payments and things like that. And people could be caught in a sticky situation and we could look at all, the, all of your options. Maybe you just have an eyesore in the neighborhood and you know someone maybe is in need of some help and sometimes... Maybe not that they need help, it's just the property needs help, or there could be a solution for what they have going on and it's a good looking property. There just may be some other things going on and we can sort of start to untie that stuff. So last thing before I let you guys go, I'll give you another story of somebody that we helped. We had a lady that we ended up just taking over payments, right? There's a lot of things that you want to look at before you have somebody take over payments, okay? There's a lot of, a lot of trust there, and there's a way to do it uh, uh, right, and there's a lot of ways that you can do it wrong. And I want to make sure that you guys know that we do everything, all of this stuff legally, and we start with what the seller wants to do first, and we look at the solution for that seller, okay? Um, so this in particular seller, they had deferred their taxes out. Uh, the IRS allows you to defer the taxes. Get with your CPA on this, because uh, I'm just a realtor, but you're, the IRS will allow you to depreciate a property for 27 and a half years. Well, this individual had depreciated the properties all the way out. They had owned them for a long period of time, and they also needed a little bit of work. There wasn't enough equity in them to rehab them and sell them for a profit. Uh, she was tired of putting in money in, in this property and she didn't want to sell them. And she had five properties at the time and she was going to have to um, uh, pay a lot of capital gains tax. So she was kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. What we ended up doing was giving her some cash up front for the properties, right? And we took over those payments and we took that burden off of her plate. And that was a real solution that we were able to provide for her, something she was comfortable with. We did it all above board uh, and legally, and we closed with an attorney on that transaction, and we helped her out. And those are our Airbnbs that you guys may see that you, when you follow us on, uh, on our Facebook page and things like that. And that's how we were able to acquire those. Uh, so a real opportunity for anybody who's interested in making a connection and looking at some other ways that maybe you could build a, a small portfolio and some extra income for yourself. And as you're looking at maybe some different options that you'd like to explore, depending on your situation, we can provide those and help you guys look at some really cool options you may not be thinking of. So with that, 
uh, I invite you guys to reach out to our team. There's going to be a number that's uh, associated with the email here. You can call the sign behind me and we will make sure we take really good care of you guys, figure out what it is you guys want to do, go over all the motivation and your price and tailor make that plan to you guys no matter what situation you're in. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you tuning in. And if there's other questions you have, maybe around this topic or you have some other questions on other topics, reach out to me and uh, we can help you guys make another video for that question or uh, sit down and spend some time with you and help you out. Thanks for tuning in. I appreciate it. Look for the next video. Thanks, guys.